it's the morning of the Health and Horticultural Conference. We're bringing together practitioners, planners, developers, MPs, GPs, a whole mixture of people to get together to work on the Charter for Health and Horticulture so that we can work out what things we're going to do through horticulture, be it activities, be it through garden design, so that we can actually turn a plan into action and delivery on the ground. What I've been talking about today is the medical evidence that links horticulture and health. So what we know is that if you are in the garden, then it's good for your health. And it's good for your health because you get the physical activity, you get less stressed, and you feel connected. I've been speaking today about our report, which we published in May this year, about the link between gardens and health, and in particular, how to share the evidence and help persuade the health sector of the power of gardening in terms of physical health, mental health and all forms of well-being. Today we're seeing a coming together of minds and hopefully taking a big step forward, getting GPs to recognise that it's an alternative to prescribing drugs and really start to get people to sit up and take notice. It is being shown with lots of studies that mental and physical health are invariably improved if you garden. And that's nothing to do with skill. That's to do with just getting out there and being outside and looking after and relating to plants. And skill can develop from that. But that's accessible by everybody. I guess for me what I learned was how many uh, groups are out there who are actually applying the research that has been done and actually make a difference. We bring volunteers together in a park or out of the green space and we might plant trees, create paths, manage ponds, but it's all with volunteers from the local community and what we found is that communities become more active, we can demonstrate a real change in people's, particularly their mental health and more and more their physical health. I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's five and a half years ago. If I am talking about what living with dementia is like, I will advocate for the need to continue to engage in fulfilling activities which one enjoys. To me, the garden is, is our sanctuary and it's our means of continuing to live well. So we've just come to the end of our Health and Horticulture Conference here at Hampton Court Flower Show and it's just been such an inspiring day and we've just ended up creating a deal with each other that we are going to make this change. There is going to be a charter and everyone who is here is going to sign up to it and we will make a difference to this country.